What's up? What's up? What's up, family? I'm back with my beautiful wife, and we're here to tell you about our love story. Our love story in the months of June and July. Well, before we get deep, deep, deep into June and July, and I tell you how I really did my thing for this proposal, you hear me? You I did, did my job. thing. You did a really good I job. did my thing. You feel me? You really um, good. babe, give them a rundown of how April and May went, just to give them a recap. So April and May, we talked about how there had been a lot of contention leading up to just like our relationship. Mm -hmm. There was issues with family, issues with jobs. And God was just, I think, even just like pruning us in that season to be able to deal with certain attacks that come. Because if you all didn't know, when you get connected to your God or thing spouse, yes, things will be great. But the enemy is going to attack and you have to have a strategy in place to know how to fight certain mm -hmm. things. And mm -hmm. so... Be aware that that's going to happen. So that was within the month of April and May. That was also the month of our birthdays. And that was just another way that we were able to display our love. God confirmed during that month so many ways that you were indeed my man for the 10th time. Because I know I have to ask God for a million confirmations. Okay. And then lastly, our minister during that time came to both of us. And basically was like, yeah, y'all need to stop playing. Y'all need to move fast. And... I didn't even, I don't think I put two and two together that he was referring to marriage, but I think you knew that he was referring to marriage. I'm like, okay, well, that's we'll, the third we'll time continue told to pray. Me, that was the third time he told me. That's how I knew. Mm. That's how I knew. So, so going into June and July, like we now have, you now have these um, marching orders, like you need to move quickly. So then what is your next move? My next move. Was the check my finances? <laughs> <laughs> I said, oh, look, oh, this look. Is a nice thing. I said, uh, because one thing I tell you, me, I um, I never wanted to just give my wife just a regular. It's not about price. It's not about price. It's not about quality. It's not about none of that. It's really about the heart. Like I'm a, so I wanted to make sure that whatever I gave her, I was happy with it, and she would be happy with it. Okay. So it was a deep. Research, you're like, wow, I'm gonna get this ring here. And if y'all remember from the first love story, I told y'all that I was looking for a ring on March the 1st. And we hooked up, what, February Wait, the 9th? February 9th, it don't take certain men long. It don't take certain, certain men long. Certain men, certain men, certain men don't take them long. Let me take but your my man brothers, a little long. Hey, listen, and if, look, and if your man taking a little long, okay, if you taking too long, okay, that's different. <laughs> but brothers, like, hey, you know, and God will tell you if you ask him. So it really don't Ooh, take too long. God's gonna tell you if you ask. So we're not asking the right questions. God, that's another thing. So you gotta ask the right, right questions. questions. I actually, my question was, God, I said, I was straight up. God, if this not it, remove her. Here you go. He moved to. He moved closer to me. <laughs> he moved from Atlanta to DC. And y'all would have got that love. I did. I moved from Atlanta <laughs> back to DC. I say that now. Love story part two. Um, but. It was um I had to because I knew that's what God told me to do. Mm -hmm. And um so now being back here, I didn't go back. Now remind you, I'm in I'm in the eight. I hop in a car, I said, I drove up. I didn't look, I didn't move into my new place yet or nothing. I said, you know what? Oh, I'm staying with some of my family members and friends. I said, no, I'm about to get to my place. I'm about to go back and live a life in DC, but I gotta take a chance on love. Mm -hmm. That's the show out there that she makes me watch. Ready to love. It's a good I'm show. Saying, it's a cool show. It's a good show. I give it to you. But I was ready to love. Mm -hmm. And um, making that decision. Once my minister told me that, I remember I took a long ride home that day, and I said, "What I'm gonna do?" And uh, I said, "It's time." And I went out looking for the ring. And I went out searching. I'm searching. I'm all over DC searching. And I remember when I found the ring, I called my mom. I said, "Mom." I think I got it. Shout out to mama. Shout out to mama. Shout out, shout out to my boo. Shout out to my boo. man. You know, uh, so I call my mama and I'm like, mom, I think I got it. I, got, I, think, I, I think I got it. I think this is the one. Everybody think this is the one. Baby. And then mama was like, she was like, ooh, that's nice. That's nice. That's nice. <laughs> and so now, like, she was like, ooh, that's nice. That's nice. That's nice. <laughs> and so that's now, nice. I leave. I leave the, the, the shop, the diamond shop where I get it from. I'm like, I don't know. I don't know. It's kind of pricey. I don't know. I went to go pray, and um, it was so, it was, <laughs> when I say it was all God, because at this time, um, for my job, I am actually was in and out of projects, and I just got onto a new project. I'm like, wow. I'm like, everything moving forward, finances back in order, finances been in order, but then I'm like, okay, now, 
I want to make sure I get her something. I don't want to look at the price. I just want to look at the heart. And I want to say, God, I don't care if it's 15 cents. You're such a lover boy. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> You're such a lover boy. You know what I mean? I don't care if it's 15 cents. Um, 15 cents? Don't right. spend 15 cents on your woman's ring. Yeah, don't do that. Don't Unless do that. it's a pass down. But don't... Mm -mm. Don't pass it down. Don't be passing stuff now. You can pass down a ring. You can. Like a grandma. Yeah, the grandma that can pass down the ring. That's like the grandma who passed away. Don't be passing I'm down. serious. Hey, you no, can. Listen, listen. Don't you pass down a ring. You pass it down things that people can break off them too. Now back to the story. <laughs> <laughs> so at the same time, I don't want to pass it down. <laughs> I wanted to get us something new um, because we're starting a new covenant. We're starting this new love. We're starting a new journey and it's with God. Mm -hmm. And um, I bought a ring, and I was getting baptized again that next month. Mm -hmm. And um, I get into that when I get into July. But when I bought that ring, I knew it was it. And um, I said, I gotta show my mama. <laughs> gotta show my mama. And so I actually took a mama on a, um, I want to say yeah, a mother, mom. her her mother um, on a mother and a future son-in-law. Date. And I remember when it was happening, I was like, why are y'all going to dinner without me? Like, <laughs> yeah, she was and I was right like, on. no, I'm coming to dinner. And Nate was like, nah, let me just go. I'm like, but I I'm hungry. Get, this I, play. I said, I got to get the New York mama. Like, I can't, I got to, so I got to show on my intention. Sometimes could be a little blonde. No offense to the blonde people, but I was like, why can't I go to dinner? That's my mama. Go ahead. But you know, hey, my brothers, you got to know what to say to keep them on the couch. <laughs> <laughs> Your mouth is and I don't think you brought me anything back. I did bring her something. What'd you bring me back? Exhibit A. <laughs> 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 okay, so uh, I take her mom out. Uh, went out to eat out here in Alexandria. Took her to this beautiful Italian restaurant. Um, they were playing slow music. We were just talking. Just I was just getting to know her a little bit, letting her get to know me. And um, we ate. And I was like, so I have a question, Mom. She was like, yes. And I'm like, uh. <laughs> you see my mom. She like, what's your question? I went to the bathroom. I said, hold up. I said, let me use the bathroom real quick. I was the bathroom real quick. <laughs> Fresh it up. I said, I prayed. I said, I ain't got it. I told the tubs, came back out there. Instead of calling to my mother, and I said, so I got a question, Mom. What's up? Talk to me. I said, ma'am, may I, may I marry your daughter? And I pulled out the ring. Her mother was like, oh, this is so beautiful. <laughs> as soon as you say that, I'm going I'm to cut like, mm -hmm. top dog, I got this. Oh, my gosh. And uh, we drove back home. And the what whole did she ride, say? She was just like, oh, my God, it's so beautiful. She's like, yes, yes, yes. She probably she was, was like, like yes, yes, finally. Yes, yes. You know what I'm saying? Um, and she was like, you know, just so the rain was so beautiful. She was happy. And that made me happy because I'm like, you know, I really – Took the time out to give her something that I can be happy with, she can be happy with. Mm -hmm. And though her mother was happy as well. And her mother was so happy, she like, I'm a hide. Don't gotta worry about it. I'm a hide. My mom is like the ultimate hider. Even when it came <laughs> to Christmas gifts, I never knew where things were. I'm like, where do you be hiding your stuff? Go ahead. Funny thing, comment in the comments. Where do you think her mother hid the ring at? <laughs> I know where she hid the ring at. Y'all tell me where y'all think she, she hid the ring. Where did she have the ring? I can't tell them. Why do people need to know? Whoever get in the comments, I got a gift coming your way. Man of <laughs> my word. Okay. You get in the comments, I got a gift coming your way. Yeah. You even got to get the... I'm not even going to get okay. too much information. Uh-huh. But, um, yeah, man. So, uh, she hid it. And, um... She had it the whole time. It was so funny. We would go by the house and I'd be like, yo, did, did he come in the room? TV at the house. I'm like, where you at? My mama was I'm like, man, I'll be taking, did, did you lock it up? Can she get it? Did, can she find it? And um, and during that whole month of June, like I said, I was preparing to go to, a, I was preparing to get baptized. And I wanted to propose her after my baptism day because I was like, one day I'm going to propose. I didn't want to keep it too long. I didn't know the date. And um, I proposed on my father's birthday. And, um, Wait, I didn't even know you were thinking about proposing after you got baptized. That's the reason why I did it. Oh. I wanted to make sure that when I go into this new season with her, that she's getting a new man in Christ, um, that I'm going to be a new person as I move forward, and that I'm letting old things go away. So I wanted to wash away all my sins. And I was baptized as a child, and I encourage you, if you was baptized as a child and you did some 
other things in life as you grow up and you really got to understand God on a different level. You went to the road and came back. I'm not saying you have to get pathos again. It's totally your choice, but um, it was something I wanted to do. Mm -hmm. I wanted to have a clean slate. I wanted to wash mm -hmm. away from all the things I used to do in my life that brought sin into my life. And I wanted to force myself to walk and mimic the life of Jesus Christ. So I had to wash away my sins. And the first thing I wanted to do as I washed away my sins was to go into covenant with this beautiful young woman, right? Yes, babe. So, um, she didn't even know that. Look, Let me just tell y'all, <laughs> the entire time, it's the I, was, I was oblivious. And even while God was snitching, and it, like things just weren't clicking in my head because I write in my journal every morning, or I try to write in my journal every morning. And during that time, God will download messages to me like your set time of favor has come. It's your time. It won't be long. You're going to get married. So, and I promise you, I was, I, I did think I was going to get married within, I would say at least by like, or excuse me, engaged by at least October. But I wasn't expecting it to happen as fast as it did because moving, like looking backwards, we went on our first date in January. We got into a relationship in February. He's looking for the what looking for the ring in March. He actually proposes in July and then things kick off and now we're about to get married. And so all of these things are happening so quickly that you can oftentimes miss it because it's like it's so mind blowing. And it makes me think of that scripture in Amos 9 where it's like God's gonna cause all these blessings to just happen so quickly that your head is gonna swim. And literally my head was swimming and I was lost. Go ahead. She must have been deep. She died because she was. <laughs> <laughs> um, but that was that was June. So the whole time I'm praying, I'm I'm fasting. I I brought the ranks to my ministers. I showed them. I didn't even know you did that. Shout what did they out. say about the ring? They loved it. They approved. Aww. Uh -huh. I told them. Wait, we missed a pivotal thing. Uh -huh. In June, we drove we drove to Connecticut. And Nathaniel meets my dad. Now, I, I've i never introduced anyone to my dad. Mm -hmm. My dad is very much so don't introduce me to nobody unless they're serious. Mm -hmm. And my dad, I remember maybe like our second month dating, he's like, I need your dad's number. And I'm like, I promise you my dad's never going to text you back. He's not going to answer your phone call because that's just his personality. And when he actually met my dad, I was just like. Wait, are you sure? Yeah, you met my dad. No, I don't think I, I did. Yeah, you did. When this we went to Connecticut. Check I'm this, from Connecticut, check by this. the way. And this is the funny thing she ain't telling y'all. That's why I just said that. I met her dad literally a week before. Oh, so it's in July. A week before we, um, got, engaged. we got engaged. Because uh -huh. I had her dad number and I'm like, I got to call him. I got to I gotta get in contact with him. He ain't answering that call. He won't answer the call. So when he finally, and I, and I, I told him, um, I said, I want to propose to Tiara on July 15th, and I want you to be there. I don't know what it was about that text, but that's when he finally called me. And the first thing he told me, he said, that's when I knew you were serious. Mm -hmm. When you say you want to marry her. And if you want to marry her, we got to talk. And he, we used to have a man-to-man -man talk over the phone. And um, How long was that talk? That's between me and your daddy. Man, this man been, I'm gonna call my daddy. He gonna tell man, me. so you know we had a talk. You know, he told me some great things. He told me some things that uh I can live by this day, and he told me some things I kept with me. And um, one thing I never forget, he told me he was like, and I heard a lot, heard this from a lot of men that uh, if the family fails, it's the man's fault. Mm -hmm. And the reason I say that because God gave you the vision as the man. So if I'm saying I'm gonna taking this woman to be with me, then I'm taking the reins that you guys have off her and I'm going to protect her. I'm going to take care of her financially, emotionally, spiritually, and physically. I'm going to not, I'm not going to harm her. I'm not going to treat her with disrespect. I want to make sure that I can be her safe place because you, you both have been her safe place as mother and father. Mm -hmm. So being just with her dad, it was just, uh, it was a blessing. Shout out to my daddy. I shout love to, my shout daddy. Out to big dog. And then funny thing, I never met her brother. So we go out there. I mean, her oh brother gosh, yeah. and her dad. So first I mean her brother, it was so funny. I'm like, you know, I'm, uh, I'm about to propose to uh, your sister. Yo, we're the mother, yo! <laughs> that's a tree. That's my dog. And, uh, the funny thing, I was like, the funniest thing, I was like, and I'm like, I'm going to say another thing. Bro, 
I said, we never had sex. Oh, you serious? You serious? <laughs> <laughs> I said, yeah, we've been absent the whole time. I didn't want any contention a part of it. He was like, oh, you for real? I'm like, yeah. He's like, oh, I like you. I like you. I like you. <laughs> and so I was able to go to Connecticut, meet her family, meet her people. It was a blessing. It was love. It was joy. I loved it. Um, and I got to see her. Well, I got to see her. The reason I say I got to see her is sometimes you really can't see your spouse until they get to their hometown mm -hmm. because you see where they grew up at. You shout see out the, to CT. Yeah, shout out to she, she be doing all that. <laughs> just a, you know, um, but I be so honest, like, that's when you really get to see your spouse when you take them home mm -hmm. because they in their natural habitat. And everyone adapts naturally to their natural habitat. So the person that may be in one place, when they get to their hometown, they will be their true self. That's they right. feel their home. They feel so... You always want to see a person at their hometown. And um, that was a very pivotal part for me for my the part of my love story. Now, one thing that I'm also thinking about is Nathaniel, keep in mind, just moved from Atlanta to D.C. So mm -hmm. while we both went to Howard, you both have roots, some friends out here. Hey, true. My friend group was a very different. Well, not very different. A lot of my friends from college weren't in D.C. So I developed a lot of friends, whether that's through church work, just being out and about, I developed a lot of friends. And I remember introducing Nathaniel to like my friend group, my church, and this man just like fit in is just, that, that, that doesn't even, that can't even explain it. It's just like, he literally just meshed so well, so it's much so where he's now talking to my friends and they having all, a whole bunch of, you know, talk conversation, especially about the engagement. I'm like, Oh, that's the funny thing. Sorry. I'm like, what? Y'all like cuckoo. We over there. I'm planning to engage with all our friends. I'm trying to tell all our friends. I'm like, yo, I told a select few friends. I said, y'all pass the word to the certain people who need to be here. And um, Wait, how well, how was that even planning for the engagement? Like, how did you know this is the type of engagement you wanted to do? So when I made the a decision proposal? July 15th, I, I ain't gonna lie, I was a shambles. I'm like, okay, how am I going to make this happen? So you just at, bought the ring. At first, I was actually going to do it. Uh, there's a waterfront here at the MGM Grand. I'm going to do it in front of the waterfront. She's going to walk in front of the waterfront. All y'all going to be down there with the signs. Ah! <laughs> it will be beautiful. I told a photographer. I actually brought people out there and showed them. I'm so serious. This is the funny thing. Let me tell you something. <laughs> Dude, I know her mama watches. I love you, mom. <laughs> Propose <laughs> when you propose. Her mother brought me to this place to propose, and it was beautiful. So I was definitely gonna do it. But I always say like, it just didn't fit me, and that's cool. It's cool to get suggestions, but do what fits you because you gotta do what's memorable. You have to do what you want to do. And she didn't say I had to do this, but she gave me a suggestion. But that suggestion, um, and that's why you need to ask mothers like, okay, what they like because that suggestion helped me get back to the best part of it, which was the proposal. So. Mm -hmm. I'm preparing, I'm talking to people, getting people, I'm getting my friends in Atlanta. I'm sending this to my family. They're like, proposal? How you, how you, who's, who's the girl? proposing to? Don't Nobody. tell people your business nope, until that's the ring comes. So one thing I would say, for the first time, I didn't tell no one. I didn't want no friends to know. I didn't want no family to know. I just wanted it between me and God because I don't want no one to get into my ear to tell me what I should or shouldn't do. I just wanted God to tell me what I should do and my spiritual leaders. So by doing that, I didn't form nobody. Not that I was keeping a secret. I was protecting myself and protecting my future. Because see, some people can get to your ears and be like, bro, you show, now you waiting two, three more months. Hey, bro, you know, old girl, now you waiting two, three, four months. Mm -hmm. You got to know what you want. And when you pray to prayer, God, if it's not me, remove it, and you say, God, if this is what you want me to be, keep it here and show me, you have to be still and you have to be quiet. You got to let God do what he do because God does not move in confusion. Mm -hmm. He does not move in confusion. So um, we preparing. I get everybody to come, y'all. I get the family to come. We having a good time. Mama, like, she's so happy. Oh, I'm coming. Hold <laughs> up. She set it up. And then, but I really want to shout out to her mother because... Um, my mother and her mother worked together. That's one thing that I really loved. It's just like, they didn't even know each other, but they got on the phone and it was tight. She's like, I was talking to your mom the other day. <laughs> and um, that's one thing I always wanted for my mother and my mother-in-law to be like rock friends. And roll. Rock that's and what roll. That's what they call themselves. You call them rock. They call themselves rock and roll. That's what they call themselves. I did not know they called yes. themselves rock and roll. Rock and roll. <laughs> okay, in the name of Jesus. Um, 
But her mother really helped me out. You know, I ain't gonna lie. Like we got everything together. We got the um the tent. I set up the backyard. Her mother was like, we had this here. We had these chairs. We had this fire pit here. We had this here. And I'm like, okay. Yeah, my mom's a planner. And she didn't even know the whole time me setting up for the proposal, guys. One thing I would say, have your friends. I needed my friends during that time. Shout out to my bros. I'm not going to call them by the name out. Y'all know who y'all was who helped me get through this process. But shout out, you need your, you need your brothers, you need your friends. Because you need brothers to be like, you're going to have contention when it's God ordained. Because that week, it was contention. Mm -hmm. But you're going to have contention when it's God ordained. And you need your brothers to be with you as you go through this. You need your brothers to be with you in prayer. You need your brothers to be with you in spirit. You need your brothers to be with you and motivate you. Hey, bro, don't worry about nothing that's going on in life because what you about to do is bigger than life. That's and good. shout out to and one person named I'm definitely going to call. Shout out to my Uncle Ed because that's what he told me. I was going through something and Ed called me. He was like, you know what? Hey, Neff, hey, I'm going to tell you straight up. Hey, don't worry about nothing that's going on in life because what you about to do is bigger than life. Mm -hmm. And what you about to do go break generational curses. Uncle Ed. So it was so it, it was so much love that I had during this time. I had people come and help me set up tents, help set up chairs. She didn't even know she could. Why is your mom out? I'm no, trying to make up let me, every single story. Let me let me, let me jump in. <laughs> let, me, let, let me jump in. Talk to her. Talk to her. My mom tells me because again, <laughs> Nate Nate proposed at my mom's house in her backyard, uh -huh. and I don't think you ever knew this, but I've always said I was like I just really want. A really nice cookout and all my family there. I don't care about none of that stuff for proposal. It don't need to be I like all fancy, fancy. Though. It's not even a dog. Yeah. Alright. So I had no idea. My mom had called me and was like, T, I'm planning, I'm planning this all white celebration of life party and I need you to make a flyer. I'm like, oh yeah, bet, I got you. So I made my mom's flyer. Or I don't think she asked me to make a flyer, but I was like, oh, I'll make the flyer for her, I'll help you out. So I made a flyer, I'm sending it to my, my, my family. I'm like, hey, my mom's having a cookout in her backyard, celebration of life, come, let me know, RCP with me, whatever, whatever. And so I'm talking to my mom, asking her questions, leading up to you know this date, which just so happened to be on the same day that Nate proposed. Now, Nate also told me in the bag. Nate also told me that one of his really good friends was having a boat party. So mm -hmm. for the past like month and a half, I'm preparing to go to this boat party, which happened again to be on the same day of my mom's cookout. But luckily, they were at different times. So my mom's cookout started i think at two you told me and then the boat party started at five but we had to be at the boat at 4 45 so we wouldn't miss it he said all this excuse nonsense. me excuse the me yacht. excuse me what people's this woman that day i'm gonna get to that was a good person. Yo, <laughs> no, i gotta get to my point sense. i gotta get to my point now <laughs> let me get to my point this woman you see, she doing the RSVP the whole time. I'm sitting in the back, like, ma'am, we, we, her mom, like, we getting up good. <laughs> <laughs> Yo, I'm talking to her sister on the line. She, I had group chat with her sister. I had group chat with yeah, her. Yeah, they were called like bros or. Yeah, bros and no. partners and this and that and all this and that. I had to shut up. He you know leaves his phone out, so I'll I just, I'll see like pop up, like as partners. Man, and the way that, the, 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 the quick tip for my brothers. If you don't want no problem, quick, <laughs> let me say that one more time. <laughs> quick tip for my brothers. If you don't want no issues, never have a lock on your phone. And if you do got a lock on your phone, let it happen. Let it happen. And I got every single password to his laptop. To Not that I'm checking because I don't be caring about stuff like that. To but give them all the ease they need to get. Just, that's good. That's just a quick tip. Um, that's how you and it's vice versa. You mm -hmm. know what I'm saying? It's vice versa. But... Back to this story. No, let me jump this. in. Are you kidding? Let me finish the story. <laughs> let me jump in. Because the white, the come to the, so now we planning everything. And then I'm sitting here and I'm like, you know what, man? Let me go ahead over here and how I'm going to really set this thing up. And her mother actually gave me the idea. It was like, yo, I said I'm having an all white party. So I can just get T to make the flyers and you just got to do your part. <laughs> and so I'm like, you know what? What can I really do? You know what? It's hot. It's, it's, it's July, July 15th. You know what? We go have a yacht party today. And um, that's how she came with that. I said, yeah, we got a yacht party. You got to get fly. I'm buying her clothes. Look, 
Listen, Mind I bought you, every a whole outfit, outfit I bought, I didn't wear. Exactly. I bought, he, I bought I, her whole outfit for the proposal. I tell y'all. I bought a whole outfit for the mm. proposal. I was, so I was in the store that day with my daddy. That's the funny thing. Yeah. I'm with my daddy, and then I'm like, <laughs> I gotta get this. I gotta get this shit. I gotta get everything together because see, Tiara wanted to wear what she wanted to wear. And I'm like, she don't know. I'm not she going wanted to wear heels. Party. I'm like, no, baby, what flats? I'm not wearing no flats. I'm like, Jesus. Because you're not about to be tired. So I bought me. her I some crazy. flats, guys. Sometimes just, I just bought her some flats. I said, what are these, babe? Because I know, <laughs> get your feet done, Tiara. I'm telling her sister how she will do her hair. We don't know Nate because if I say if I tell her to get her makeup done, then she really will think something going on. <laughs> so I said, you know what, Tiara, just do your own makeup. Tiara, get your head done. I told her sister to make sure all that she said, don't worry, Nate, very good. It's very done. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? Shout out to Tash. Shout out to Tash. And so uh, now, nah, like, now it's That's really... when you start telling all these lies. So That's now, when you start telling the lies. See, now one thing, I didn't really tell lies. I don't lie. I didn't really tell lies. It was she no like, yacht party. It was no only I was, it was no yacht party. It was no yacht party. That's the only lie. But I did when I was laying in my mouth. I was helping her. So going back to going back to my my perspective, my mom had me create these flyers. Nate's telling me that we're going to a yacht party. I got to get cute. I got to get dressed up. And I'm like, okay, bet. Like I ordered three dresses and every single dress that I ordered, I showed Nate, I'm like, Nate, you think this would be cool? Or what about this one? Cause you know, a girl needs options. So I ordered dresses. And do you think that when the day came, I wore any of the dresses that I bought? Absolutely not. Cause Nate was like, now those two dressy. And I'm like, you literally no, showed, you told me to buy these for the party. That's neither here nor there. So all these things are happening. I had to keep the story going. And looking back, now it all makes sense because I remember when we were at church, Nate started coming to the church that I was attending and he's talking to my, he's talking to my girlfriends and Nate's just very friendly. So that wasn't alarming at all, but they were actually planning the proposal. And then leading up to the actual week, Nate, one turned off his location and Nate never turns off his location. I'm like, I'm like, why is his location off? And this crazy man makes up the story, which in the, at the time made sense. There was a there was a storm in DC and it knocked out the power and he was like oh yeah the storm something with it's like the cell tower it like cut off the location on my phone I can't turn it back on and Nate always says I ask too many questions and so I had a million questions to ask but I was like you know what let me just let him go let him I say deep sea diving <laughs> deep sea diving let me just let him have it so that happens during the week so I don't see his location not knowing that. He turned it off because he was at my mom's house every single day setting up the tent with all his friends. Now, I go to my mom's house at least once a week. And during this week, she was just like, oh, no, T, no need to come to my house. And I'm like, girl, I'm about to come my see you. You're my mom. I'm like, you're my mom. I'm about to come see you. But that's neither here nor there. So leading up to the, uh, to the actual proposal, Nate's best friend, Nate tells me that his best friend comes in town. I'm like, why is your best friend in town? Like, what are you doing? He was like, oh, shout out to Darren. He was like, oh, Darian, he, he, there's a rodeo. There's a rodeo happening shout in Maryland. Shout out to the next cowboy. He's a cowboy. He was like, yeah, there's a he's rodeo a that, he's, that he's participating in. I'm right? like, a rodeo in Maryland, in D.C.? He was like, oh, yes, it's like a, it's a small league that so they do all my, To all our rodeo fans, <laughs> she don't know. But tell her any rodeos in the city. It'll be rodeos, in, fact, it'll comment, be rodeos in D.C. Tell, what, what, I don't even know what they call it. But they, whatever they call it, tell, comment in the comment <laughs> when the next rodeo is. In well, no, when y'all do the next tri the trail run, let me know. We sliding up, we hopping on some horses. So he told me that there was a rodeo, and I'm like, none of this makes any sense. It makes sense. And then I'm asking more questions. He's just telling more lies, and I'm like, let me just stop asking questions because I'm, go I'm, I'm just get annoyed. The day of the... The day before the proposal, Nate and I go to dinner. And I should have known right then and there that this was it. But anytime Nate is like stressing about something, he'll bring it up multiple times. So while we were at, he, he's asking me a question like, oh yeah, have you ever thought about like how you wanted to get engaged or how you wanted to get proposed to? Hey, what type of ring do you like? Hey, you know, who would you want? Who would you want at your proposal? Uh, hey, what would you, what would you want? What would you want? Hold up, hold up, hold up. Never. Tip, tip two, never ask the woman you about to propose to oh, what type of ring she want after you buy the ring. She said everything, put the ring. I know what, babe, I think I want this 
type of rain. I want this type of shit. I'm like, don't even worry about the rain stuff no more. And the funny thing, we was in Pennsylvania. This is another point we get. I took her to a rain show just to be like, let me make sure I got her what she want. This woman picked every rain <laughs> that is not the shape of a round shape. She looked I like, like, I like, no, I don't I like, like that. that. I like this pair. I don't like this oval. I don't like this one, baby. Like, Let's go. No. He, he was like, oh, we got to yeah, go. Yeah, we about to go. Because no. you about to make me mad. We about to go. We about to go. Oh, um, we about to go, man. And I, go what day? So look, now we back. And so we will, we will give it to I like this. And um, this is how we go. This is how we go slider. We got through all the fun. We got through all the things. But the day of... Um, Actually, shout out to Leo Visuals. Um, he did our video, um, but the day of, it was it was it was beautiful. We actually want to tag the. We actually have the video. That's about our first video, so I'm gonna actually tag it to this video so you guys can just go press and see it. But um, that day was just you know it was out on the backside and then we driving up. T, oh my nerves, because she wanted to get to the yacht and it, so no. I said this is what happened. Her mother said the family was there, which is fine. But T's so stressed to get to the family that I'm like, okay, cool. Um, baby, we're going to the yacht at 5 o'clock. We'll go say, hey, the family. Say, what's up? Hit the yacht. So her mind says, already like, yeah, I'm going to take her to the take her to the family to the yacht. But in between, she don't know. I got to stall out. My family, we supposed to get, it's supposed to happen at about 1.30. They call me, text me. Nate, you got to stall. Nate, you got to stall. They don't know Tierra in my ear. Oh, I'm not gonna have no time to see my family. I gotta go see my family. I was so annoyed. I was I'm like, you really just rushed me, know. and then all of a sudden we're driving all the way. He's like, let Listen, me stop at the store. She was on my nerves let so much. Let me stop here. I started. Let me I started. Stop she was on my nerves so much, y'all. <laughs> I started praying in tongues, listening to gospel music. I don't get any nerves. And she was on my nerves so much. I started praying in tongues, listening to gospel music. She was just on it, and I'm like, you know what? That was you not about to win. This I knew that God was involved in this. It was actually supposed to rain that day. Oh, and, and it, it didn't so rain good. until like 7 p.m. And it was actually supposed to rain that day. I, in my journal that morning, because again, I write in my journal, I wrote down, Lord, please don't let it rain today. I, I don't know. I was like, Lord, please don't let it rain today. And I was like, looking back, I'm like, wow, God, you really just be out here just snitching all folk. Go ahead. And so uh, now we driving and we get down there to the road. We get down there and I'm just like, so I played a, I played a song. It was actually on our TikTok, one of those viral videos. I played a song just so I can get her to dance. And then look, I'm like, look at me, look at me. That was annoying. Look at me. But she wouldn't know at that point. She was, was just, she was just was dancing. Good. She was just dancing at that time, just having a good time. And so we going down to it. Um, and then I want to tell y'all how it went, but y'all got to watch the video. And when you watch the video, you'll see from when we pulled up to the parking lot and our sister came to the car. And to know the rest of the story, you have to watch the video. It's our first video, the proposal. And that truly sums up June and July. How did it feel to propose? Um, and I leave it like this. Um, it was a relief. Mm-hmm. And not a relief because um, it's a relief because it was always a dream of mine to get married. It was always a dream of mine to have my own family. It was always a dream of mine. Like most people dream about this and that. I always dream about a good family. I was a major, I used to love Major Payne. And uh, I love always seeing him with the family with Titan and they had the white picket fence. So as a child, I used to always be like, no, I want that when I grew up. And um, mm. so it was a relief. And um, it actually was, it was just. It was a peace, you know, God is peace. And um, so I knew I knew God was involved in the whole situation. You know what I'm saying? And um, it actually just, it grew me up in seconds, mm -hmm. in seconds. Um, because when you make that move and then you do it in front of other people, it's not in front of the people. When you just make that move, um, you got to mature because it's go time. And when I say go time, it's go time in prayer. It's go time in warfare prayer. It's go time in getting closer and being in the presence of God. Because once you make that move, everything that's about to happen in life as a man, you got to be ready. And um, so I say it was a relief from leaving the world and coming into a covenant. But it was peace because I knew God was with me the whole time. That's good. But it was prayer because without prayer, it would have never happened. That's good. And so... Um, I love that. I
think that was in our story of mm -hmm. our love story, as you could see. <laughs> Love story. You're such a love queen, y'all. He set this up, y'all. The next love story will be from July to January, and that topic is going to be the pruning season. Mm -hmm. And we will detail you guys a lot of things that we had to learn, a lot of things we had to go through, and perfectly we can have a lot of couples who may dealt with some things we dealt with um during that season and that's the next video. Yep. Make sure you download and prepare for your spouse devotion devotional. It outlines all those things so what's the preparing for the spouse devotional why do they really need to download let them know why they need to download sure so the preparing for your spouse devotional is mm -hmm. something that one there are certain things that we learned as we were one leading up to the engagement and post the engagement and we really just wanted to share with you all some of the tools and keys that are necessary as you begin to prepare for your spouse and it's not just about the spouse but the devotional within itself is all about just becoming a better christian mm -hmm. becoming a better person because as you get that in check you'll be great to your god ordained man your god ordained woman and god will just blow your mind in that area so if you haven't already i know a lot of people have keep get your preparing for your spouse devotional below see you in the next video subscribe comment and uh, i pray that god keep you blessed i pray that you find a love that you need. I pray that there's any contention that's going on in your life that it be removed in the name of Jesus. I pray that you succeed. I pray that you have prosperity within your life. I pray that peace be upon you. I pray that if any area that you have affliction, that you have faith in affliction. I pray that no matter what door that's been closed to you, that it be opened upon in the name of Jesus. And I pray that that smile that's on your face right now that it keeps shining. I pray for your heart. I pray for your mind. I pray for your family. And I pray for your happiness. And in Jesus' name, amen. Mm -hmm. Thank God. Mm -hmm. Peace out, y'all.